Elon Musk recently announced a reward of $100 million to the one who creates the best carbon capture technique. So what exactly is this all about? All living things on earth contain carbon. Yes, we are talking about the same gas which is emitted by factories. Even you contain carbon and lots of it. If you weigh 100 pounds, 18 pounds of you is pure carbon. And all plants are almost half carbon. With so much carbon, why isn't everything black and sooty like the smoke we see emitted by factories? How can dogs be white and trees green? Because carbon, which is an element, combines easily with other elements to form new materials. The new stuff called compounds are quite different from pure solid carbon. When carbon is burned, it combines with two oxygen molecules and becomes carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is natural gas and when this gas reaches the atmosphere, it creates a greenhouse effect. When there is too much of it in the atmosphere, it acts like the glass in a greenhouse, trapping the sun's heat inside and stopping it from escaping back to space. This is what we call global warming. Global warming has caused climate change. Capturing planet warming emissions, such as carbon dioxide, is becoming a critical part of many plans to fight climate change. But very little progress has been made on the technology to date, with more efforts focused on cutting emissions rather than taking carbon out of the air. We don't have a lot of time left to tackle climate change before we are in a serious trouble. But we do have some about 10 years or so. So what are we going to do to make those years count? What if I told you that there is a kind of technology out there called carbon capture that just might be our ticket to slowing global warming down? Thankfully, some scientists have figured out a way to capture some of that carbon dioxide from going to the atmosphere. They experimented with storing the captured carbon in the deep undergrounds of the earth. The same place where fossil fuels come from. At Pond Technologies, scientists are actually feeding the carbon to algae and algae are very good at eating carbon. Scientists say if this company was invited to install their technology on the worst carbon dioxide producing operations in the world. The positive impact on the environment would be felt overnight, but that is not enough for Elon Musk, because we need a more efficient and less costly method of capturing carbon, and that's what Elon Musk is looking for right now. Currently most of our electricity is generated at large power plants that burn coal and other fossil fuels that add lots of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. It will likely be many decades before we can get most of our electricity from renewable sources that emit little or no carbon dioxide. In the meantime, scientists are developing ways to capture carbon dioxide from power plants and factories and safely store it underground so that it can't go into the atmosphere. The main common idea is to capture carbon dioxide emissions from a power plant or factory so they are not released into the atmosphere. The captured carbon dioxide will be then sent through a pipeline to a place where underground rock formations can store the carbon dioxide safely and permanently. The carbon dioxide is needed to be pumped more than one mile deep underground. It would be important to monitor the stored carbon dioxide to check if it does not leak and go into the atmosphere or in the underground drinking water. Carbon dioxide can get stored in solid rocks under pressure just as how water gets stored in sponges. We have been taking carbon out from the fossil fuels from deep underground for almost 300 years and now we are going to put it back again. Only small steps like these can improve the condition of our planet once again. Our survival demands it. <laughs>